Hello and welcome back to the Bind of Rise of Repentance. Today is greed mode and we are on Eve. So these two greed modes I'm not going to be looking forward to because Eve and Samson are my two of my least favourite characters. Halo is an all stats up, so that's a health up and um, an increase in speed, range, damage and tears. Not a bad start actually. Um, what do we want? We really we should take a bit of damage, but I don't know if we get into the Babylon state as Eve is great. So we'll just see what we can do with this. If we take enough damage and get to it, then we get to it. Didn't mean that hit, but having the dead bird should help a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm not doing anywhere near enough damage to make any kind of effect on beating these waves quickly. So hopefully I'll just be able to rely on the dead bird to do enough damage when the waves get a bit out of control, like they already are. I mean, this is just so much. How many waves I've got left? There's another, like, three waves. Yeah. I, I thought I still had the invulnerability for a little bit longer. This could all be over very soon. I didn't even see that spider. Okay. So, <laughs> that is how bad boss rush um, and greed mode with these waves can be. Okay. Toothpicks, tears, and shot speed up. Not a bad start, but not as good as the last one. So I'm gonna check in here. What's this? Two clubs. Is that keys? No, it's bombs. Okay. Blow these up in the hopes of a. Uh, I'll keep it for now. Keep the bombs for now. I guess I'll just try and go in for this as the Babylon. I don't really want champions. I mean, it's going a lot better. Would have been nice if this was like this when I had the Halo with the increased damage already. Do have to be very careful with how enemies spawn so I don't take any unnecessary damage. Which is why I'm trying to get decent placements where I'm coming from. Not a bad room to end it with, as long as I'm just a little more aware of where I'm standing. These can't shoot anything at me. Gonna take the damage first before the case, so glass eye damage and lock up. I'll get enough money for the uh, for the um, for the key after I've done these two wet boss waves. bit too much poop in this room for my liking. Damn it. Okay, there's a half a heart in the shop which I can pick up. To 
is key. I haven't really got any money to buy anything else, so I'm not going to. Mr. Mega. So I've got five more bombs, and my bombs will do more damage. I can never get away from Lust. <laughs> That's awful. Oh, that was a good run as well. Okay, one more time. And then we'll think of something else, I guess. Uh, no, that's not good because my damage will be right down. And uh, screw it. So, Odd Mushroom gives me a speed up, tears up, and damage down. Probably wasn't the wisest thing to do. Oh, you look up, okay. Quite energy, that means nothing to me. Uh, the bad one state, I got 5 damage. And my tears are almost at the top, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might spend a lot of money on soul hearts on this route, on this one, if I survive long enough. That is. I think that's my plan. I think I'm going to just spend every bit of money that I can on soul hearts. And a key. And then start looking for items the next floor. Yeah, that's the only way I'm going to survive, really. Oh, wow, there's a lot of spiders there. I know some pies. Okay. So, get the key. Get as many soul hearts as I can. Kidney bean. So, that is um, a use item that, um, kind of like the other beans, will shoot off. Gurglings straight away. Hate gurglings. Hate their movements. They're awful. Um, but yeah, the bean it causes the pheromones effect, so they get the love effect. So they will attack enemies in a boss in like a, a waves thing. That actually won't be too bad because. The enemies will then fight each other. Get two more soul hearts. So it's actually not that bad of a of an item to have picked up. Yeah, get them to attack them if they actually reach. Didn't really do much. But it kept them off my back for a, a couple of seconds. Don't really want two of these little guys charging at me because they can move a bit weird when you shoot them. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. I'm actually going to check the devil room. Is there anything to give a heart up with? There isn't. Unfortunate because now I haven't got my guaranteed angel rooms. But it might have been worth giving up my empty heart container. Take matchbook. So that gives three random bomb drops, a black heart, and the trinket, the matchstick. I don't really want that, so. Move on. He's already three, three cents in here, so I'll probably stock up on keys on here, on this floor while they're cheap.
least we've got the dead bird out. Got to remember they've got my bean that will help me. Uh, do I want to carry on? I guess I will. Just while again dead birds out. I think it's worth having him for the extra damage. Oh, I didn't know you were going to do board movements. I always forget how many each of those poops, because there's like so many different variants of those specific poop bosses. One of them can just do like one move, one of them can do. Ooh, Ranger, that's nice. One of them does two, and so on. I always forget which one actually does what. Yeah, we'll do this wave as well. Poop was probably the best thing that could happen right there. Come back up, take care of it. No? Okay. Room. And the Holy Mantle, that's very nice. Holy Mantle is a sort of shield, so once per room I get a free a free shot. Okay, I wanna get Synth Oil actually. I was gonna buy more keys, but no Synth Oil is what I want. Give me one Scent. Okay, I can buy one key as well with that. So I had sticks, which is a um, damage and range up for one of my eyes. So you can see it kind of like looks a little lighter, it shoots further, does more damage, and synth oil is a damage and range up. Cursed eye, no, thank you. Damn it. That was a good example of Holy Mantle. So even though I walked into that poop, which does damage because I had the Holy Mantle, I had one free hit. Okay, got the key for here. Book of Sin. Do I want that instead of the bean? Probably, I'm not really using the bean. Health up, I don't really want the health up because I don't need any more red hearts. I don't want any more red hearts. I don't really want anything in here either. I do want soul hearts. So this was actually going to be a nice save of money. I haven't got a reroll machine. Don't really want the range. Be very careful of red heart drops from the book of sin. Maybe I shouldn't have the book of sin. What hit me? I don't even know what hit me. Ugh. Uh, 
Oh, almost all hearts are gone. That's. Yeah, you got away with that boss. Thought I was far enough away from the uh, blast. Room, what we got? Yes. Immaculate Heart. Unfortunately, it's a health up, which gives me full health. It's a damage up and causes my tears to orbit around me. I'm gonna. No. I'm gonna take a damage because I want to be back at the Babylon state. Okay, nothing in here. Hopefully the next floor has soul hearts. Absolutely pointless room. I'm glad I had the eye can see forever pill to see another crawl space to get out. What are you? Meat, which is a damage and health up so again I'm gonna have to take damage to clear that but I can do that in here so that's fine okay take key reroll see if some soul hearts come up oh magic mush that's so good but that's health up as well Okay, I'm going to have to accept that I'm not going to be able to keep this health because there's actually a couple of items I want here. Magic Mush is an all stats up. Well, it says all stats up, but it doesn't give you a tears up. And it's a damage multiplier, so it doubles your damage. Unfortunately, I don't get to keep such a great amount it had. Sci-Fi. Okay, this is, this is a run. Sci-Fi is a familiar that will... Um, Circle around me. If tears come flying at me, it will actively um, aim to protect me from them. Damn, I've lost my shield already. That's not what I wanted. I can't pick up these hearts now because I'm not too interested about not getting hurt or about. Only having one heart. take Charm of the Vampire which is a slight damage up and after I want to say 15 kills um, I get half a heart of health back so now trying to get to the Babylon state isn't going to happen so I'm just going to try and get enough things that make my damage good even without it
that's it. Red candle. Do I want more health? Do I want to use any money at all? I do want this last bit and then see. Focusing hasn't really been working in my favour as much as I would have liked it to. When it gives me a little bit of extra money, that's nice. But it hasn't really been doing as much as I would have liked. really worth my bombs. Gonna take circle protection. So circle protection, if an enemy walks into the circle, it does damage to it and I think it does that. Pretty sure it does. And tears have a chance that if they hit off it, hit him onto it, it will um, go back to the enemy as a um, psychic tear. Did I want it? I know I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get anything. Don't think that's worth it. Again, I do want to buy enough items to be strong enough, but I do want to have enough money for the end donation machine to actually put enough money into it. Uh, that item was growth hormones, which is a speed. Speed? Yeah, speed and damage up. I'm going to take the halo. I'm seraphim, that's nice. So, seraphim, um, halo is an all stats up. And then, because I had three angel items. I got the Seraphim Transformation, which gives me three soul hearts and blight. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll try you. Okay, place on now. Picked up a key already, so I can go in here. Book of Revelations. You know what, I'm going to keep that Book of Revelations, every time I use it I get a Soul Heart. I think I think a bit more reliable extra health is not a bad idea to have. Hopefully I won't really need it, but... I think that's going to do better than the Book of Sin at this point. Should have probably left the room to get my um, holy mantle back, but we don't we don't need it. Should be fine. I say I don't need it when I get hit. But this guy just shoots way too many lights when it does this move. Well, not this route move. The last move it did. I'm a full tier, so the screw doesn't really matter. Pick up this battery to get another soul heart, though. Yep.
Yeah, I don't mind this. Seven seals has a little horseman. So I have a little horseman friend. They give me flies which are effective, do the kind of same things that they do. So these flies from war will explode. Flies from famine, I think it do slow. But yeah, it, it rotates through them randomly. Yeah, I didn't want to buy anything. Let's see anything I want from this shop? I might put a little bit of money into the into the donation machine just to see what I can get. Because this is the last shop. I'll take Spider Mod, and I think that's it. I think I'm good for the rest of the floor gonna save the rest of the money that I've got and the rest of the money I'm gonna get so I should have a fairly decent amount to put into the domination machine at the end of this if I, of course I get to the end I'm feeling confident enough with the amount of damage I've got whoops that's fine I'll get that heart back It's going to be another one. What's I've got in here as well? What are you? Son, I'll take you with me. A little bit too careless, but that's fine. Last one I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna take the pentagram for a damage up. So ten damage, that's actually not a lot. Obviously if I was in the Babylon state, that'd be a lot better. But I need as much health as I can get. Didn't expect you to pop down there. Okay. Let's go to Ultra Greed. get hit too much otherwise all the money that I've got I'm gonna lose I was not close enough to get hit from that I do not agree with that at all what keeps hitting me keys out of that. Unfortunately I'm strong enough to not worry about these at all. Uh, 
I don't feel like I'm shooting at five tiers. Might just be me expecting more, but it feels quite slow. Nearly there. Hold this will end it. No, I didn't get to him in time. Oh, I did. Okay. Well, that was nice. Put on my black feather. Put hopefully all this money into the donation machine. Unlock special shopkeepers. I'm sure we've already done that, but it's another one. So yeah, get in through it. Almost about a quarter of the way there. Okay. So it only took about three tries, but at least we actually got there with Eve. Now we don't have to worry about this greed mode for Eve. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.